Well, hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to put Chinese text into Blender. Now, uh, I have Inkscape open here and that's going to be our method for, it's going to be our go-between, I guess. But before we do that, let's go ahead and go into Blender here and I'm just going to select everything and delete it. So you can just hit Shift A and you can come down here to add text and that's great however if you want to change the text so you hit tab and then you go ahead and try and type something in Chinese like ni hao you see I, I type it but nothing happens and that's because natively blender does not read Chinese text so you can go ahead and come here to edit and preferences and then if you come here to interface and right here where it says translation, you can tick that on and you can choose all these different languages. You can choose simplified Chinese. The problem is that does not allow Blender to still recognize Chinese text when you're inputting it into Blender. And I'm hoping that this is one thing that maybe can be worked on in 2.9 is just the addition of Unicode characters. So for the time being, text using the text tool doesn't work. So I'm just going to hit X and delete. And then let's go ahead and pull up Inkscape. I'm using Inkscape because it's free. So I'll click on the text tool down here and I'll just draw out a text box. And then I'll type in some Chinese characters. Let's just try Ni Hao. If you don't know, Ni Hao in Chinese is how you say hello. Um, and then I can hit Control A text size up to something like 200 and yeah that's good for now next I can grab my selection tool here and grab my text and just go to path and object to path or control shift control C and now you can see that my text I can double click on it and you can see that it's changed everything into a path which is great so I'll select everything hit file save as I'll just save it to the desktop as a drawing great and now I can come here to file and import and I want to import a scalable vector graphic an SVG file and this takes me to my import menu and I can just click drawing and there's no properties that I need to change and just click import so now you can see in my outliner we have two paths. I'll go ahead and move the origins to geometry. There we go. And now if I select them both, I can scale them up. Okay. And you can see they're they're right there. Same same type of uh, deal. So the next thing that's easy enough is you can just grab one of them and come down here to convert to and mesh from curve text or metadata. Same thing over here. And you can see that our curves are now changed it to meshes. And they also come with a material that we can just get rid of. So now if I hit tab, you can see that we're while the, the shape looks great, we've got this issue with triangles. And the best way that I've found to, to fix that issue is to just come here to the modifiers tab and go with a decimate modifier. And you can pull this decimate modifier, you know, not all the way down. I found kind of 0.1 seems to be about right because then if I go ahead and apply that, you can see that the amount of vertices has been greatly reduced. And then it's pretty easy to go back in here and clean up the geometry. And then when I apply a subsurf modifier, I get the exact same looking text, but just with better geometry. And it just looks better in the end. So the next time one of your Chinese buddies asks you to kind of help them out with some 3D text, now you know how to do that. I hope this has been helpful. Please like and subscribe if 
you enjoyed this video and leave a comment. I'd love to know your thoughts and I'll see you next time.